Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see how to use different branches of the same project at the same time. So I'll switch to Visual Studio Code, you can use any IDE you prefer and we can start working on our branches. Here I have just a, a basic uh, React application that I generated and I uh, just pulled from my repository. You can create your own repository or clone any of your applications uh, or, or repositories and start practicing this. So uh, what is the story behind this? Let's say that we have, uh, we are actually working on some important uh, feature and we edited a lot of files. For example, we have here important component and so on and so on. I'll first uh, check out that important uh, 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 branch, sorry. And I'm typing git checkout minus b and the name of that branch for example important branch important branch now we have switched to that branch and now i'm adding a new file here let's say important component the j6 you can add any file or anything you want okay and that's it uh, I save this, so we have changes here in uh, source control here. And now let's say that I did a lot of changes, uh, er, uh, other files I changed and so on and so on. And uh, all of a sudden uh, a request appears to hotfix something uh, right now. But uh, somehow I would like to uh, switch to that new branch, to create a new branch without touching this one, without committing my changes or stashing them. So just to uh, check out to that branch and start working on it. And is that possible? Actually it is. There is an option in, in Git uh, called a work tree. So to do that, uh, we can do the following. We can type git work tree add. And now we'll add our branch that uh, is going to be named uh, hotfix. For example, it can be anything you want. Hit enter. And now uh, Git is cloning uh, for us this uh, project here and tracking that specific uh, branch in actually uh, tracking that uh, that part of the project specifically. So it is not by, uh, being tracked by our uh, important branch. As you can see, there is nothing here uh, to commit or to, 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 tr uh, to track to add here. So uh, after doing this, uh, we can open a new window here in uh, our uh, IDE or if you're on Windows and using uh, Visual Studio Code you can just uh, say uh, type the following command uh, code as for Visual Studio Code and provide path hotfix brand hit enter and it will automatically open that uh, branch in a new window so now uh, we are on our hotfix branch here and we are working on something here. So let's say that we here want to add another component here and let's call it uh, another, another component. Okay, another component. That is our hotfix or anything here and call it uh, okay, the same okay okay save and now we have uh, these changes as well as we have the changes on this important branch so what can we do right now here uh, now we can do as we as we are doing uh, always so we can uh, say git status to check that we have this change git add git commit and provide a message some hotfix some hotfix hit enter and we have added uh, we had committed our changes and now we're going to push these changes git push okay and you'll just copy this instead of typing it okay hit enter and now Tender, and now we can see that I can uh, I can open this 
to create a pull request. So this is just test. Okay, somehow to fix, create a pull request. And merge into the master branch here. So now I'm switching to uh, Visual Studio Code and closing this window and this branch. So I finished everything there. And now I'm still on my important branch here. So I'm also doing something else here and so on, so on. And I would like also to see that uh, this hotfix branch is still here. So what can we do after we finish that uh, work on that hotfix branch? We can say in git work tree list, for example, to see hotfixes uh, actually uh, work trees here. So we can see two work trees here and the branch here. So uh, we can do the following uh, git work tree and or say uh, remove and the name of the branch. Hit enter and as you can see here it is uh, removed. We can check that again. Git hotfix, hotfix uh, list, uh, sorry, git uh, work tree. And uh, we just see our current branch and everything. So after doing this and after we added our code, we can uh, again commit it. Git status, we see that important component, git add git commit a message important com component important component hit enter and now we can fetch and uh, before push uh, pushing we can rebase with our master branch Now we are rebased and we see uh, our another component from the previous hotfix also. And we can say, okay, git push. And also copy this here as we don't want to type whole command. Enter here. And now follow the link and create this uh, merge request again, actually pull request. Okay, we have finished that, confirm merge, and now uh, we have done our job on both of these branches. So uh, basically that's it when it comes to working with multiple branches. Uh, you could create any branches, uh, any number of branches you would like to, and uh, these work trees, but this is just a tutorial to show you uh, possibilities and how to actually work with them if you have a need for them. So uh, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please comment, like, share or subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.